hello everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for joining us today all right so today i'm going to show you guys how i got this half up half down look and also this ponytail right here very very cute i think that's my favorite right there i love that one all right so first of all i took two old wigs one was a short wig and one was a longer wig now the short wig is synthetic hair and the longer wig is human hair. So the first thing I did was take the long wig and um, I brushed it out. And then I made a part from ear to ear so that I can do my half up half down. I'm going to be cutting this wig and I am cutting right before the elastic band, okay? I wanted to make sure the elastic band stayed on there. And as you can see, the combs are still intact and the band is still there. I then parted my hair horizontal from ear to ear and then I started braiding the back straight down. By the way, so the quality is like super bright, I know, and I look very washed out. Excuse that, that will change later. So anyway, now that I finished my braids with my Cricut parts, um, <laughs> I'm going to oil my hair once again with the spray and then I put a little rubber band to secure the back. Now I'm taking my wig cap and I am putting it over my braids. There we go. Alright, and then I got the long wig and I'm just brushing it out one more time before I put it on. I am putting the combs inside of my braids and so you guys want to make sure that you don't put your braids in too tight so that way when you put the combs inside it's not uncomfortable all right now that i got my hair on i'm going to brush it out now i'm getting ready to put the top of my hair in a ponytail and i am just trying to get it slick as possible I then took my shining jam to help lay my hair down. Now I'm combing my hairs out the way. So I just combed my hairs forward and then now I'm taking witch hazel to um, clean my scalp where I'm going to be applying the hair. I just wanted to make sure there was no residue from the grease or any products that I just recently used. Now I'm taking my short wig and I am going to be using this to create my edges. All right, so I'm using a razor right now to take the hair off, but eventually I just started using scissors because it was easier to just get the hair off quicker. And um, I'm applying my gel first. So I am using the Got To Be gel in black. And I apply that first to the area that I want to put the hair. As you can see, I am using this rat tail comb, the bottom and the top of it to kind of help manipulate the hair and make it look more realistic. And then I am going to blow dry it so that it stays in place. And can we talk about this ponytail? I mean, this ponytail is giving I like hot Cheetos, okay? I was the girl back in school who ate the hot Cheetos and the Kool-Aid and sugar inside of a little plastic bag and I could fight. It's, that's what it's giving. It's giving that. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the tutorial. Is grab some more gel and just do the same process again. All right. So it's very repetitive. Now, what I didn't do was apply them closer to my edge. And um, so, if you want it to be more thick, just know to apply it closer to the edge okay so that way there's you know no gaps all right you're filling in every little gap as much as you can so that way you get a fuller look you'll see what i mean a little bit later in the video so i tried my best to make this video as detailed as possible without making it super long I really wanted you guys to understand the process and the way I'm using the rat tail comb each time. The rat tail comb is crucial in this and making it look natural. I also wanted to point out that when you use your free spray, try to only spray the root, okay? Only spray the root. Try not to spray the whole strand of hair because what you don't want is for it to all be solid and very stiff. All right, so you see right here, I'm gonna spray very carefully right there. I'm just putting it right there where I need it. That's what you wanna do each time. I absolutely love this technique. It is a great alternative if you don't want to wear a lace wig and you have hair loss. And the best part is it's way more affordable than a lace front wig. 
So all you have to do is just buy you some tracks and or use some old hair that you have laying around and you can get whatever style you like, sis. Okay, the sky is the limit. And I mean, there's so much you can do with this technique. There's so much you can do. Anybody can do this, okay guys? This is not as hard as it looks. It's very, very simple. You can do it. I promise you can do it, okay? Once again, I am using the comb to guide the hair even before it's on my head. And also once it's on, I like to use the comb to spread it out so that way, you know, there's some gaps in there so it looks more natural. Now I want to take this time to answer some questions that I've been getting on my last video. So, all right, so a lot of people wanted to know um, how long does this style last? So this style can last up to about three to four days or maybe even longer than that. It just all depends on how well you manage the style while it's on your head, all right? Um, if you sweat a lot um, and or get it wet too much, obviously it's not gonna last as long, right? Um, however, the hold is really, really good for the most part. And I mean, you have to really be doing a lot of sweating and getting your hair like really soaked for it to really move. All right, next question. What happened to my hair? That's like the most common question. I'm going to do a separate video talking about that because that's kind of a long story. Or you can order my book, Hair the Me Out. It's in the description box. And occasionally I will still go in with my scissors to help feather it out more so that it looks um, not as blunt on the ends. So you want to make sure you're doing that as well. And as you can see, I did my spray and my blow drying afterwards. Just the same thing, guys, over and over. And here's a close-up. So I'm going to show you guys close up what it looks like and how natural that looks. I mean, you really just can't tell. Just be sure to clean it up with some scissors. So all those little hairs that are going past your hairline, you want to cut those off. I would say just make sure that you are mimicking your natural hairline the best you can, okay? I actually made a mistake in putting mine a little bit too low. I wish I had to kick it back a little bit more. Now, I do have a widow's peak, so I'm mainly referring to the hair that's on both sides of the widow's peak. So I should have took that back a little bit more. Now I'm just finishing up the sides and filling in any other gaps that I see. And yes, I put the hair behind my hairline. So where I do have the little hairs, I just put it in behind it so it looks even more natural. Now I'm just drying everything really good one last time before I start doing my ponytail. And yes, you're gonna get some shedding. It's okay. And I'm gonna use my aloe vera softy gel and clear to help mold this ponytail. I like it because this gel is really soft and light and it won't weigh my hair down too much or make it really hard. I'm just gonna tighten this ponytail because I felt like it was still loose. So carefully trying to tighten my ponytail. Now I'm using the other part of that wig that I cut off earlier to make my bun. Wanted your hair to, you know, have that half up, half down, and your ponytail be down like that, that could be a style. Like, I could be done. Once I put my pins in, that could be a style. And I thought that was cute as well. But I decided to go ahead and go for a bun. There's the bun. 
All right, so now I'm just taking some more of that clear gel and I'm putting it on the back of the hair just, just to give it that wet look and make it look moisturized and not as dry. Then I'm just gonna brush it out one more time. And there you have it. There's my half up, half down with the bun. And see, right here, I am filling in the gaps because there were some spaces. So I'm just using some edge control and black to make it look a little bit more full. And here's the final look. According to this picture, I am Gabrielle Union's little sister. I don't care what anybody say, like, we are related, clearly. All right, this was the next day. And as you can see, the ponytail looks really good. Everything is still intact. Uh, I took a little bit of Vaseline. Yes, a little bit of Vaseline. And I rubbed it in and um, just brushed it through just to kind of add a little softness to it, you know, and a little shine so it doesn't look too stiff. So in order to get this look, I did take off my hair piece that I had on the back and then just put this on top and this was the final look now this is actually a wig so in order for me to get this shape um, I had to pin it up so that way it gives it more like a ponytail shape instead of a like down in the back type of shape you know what I mean so if you want it to look like a ponytail all you have to do is just kind of pin it how you want it to be um, or use an actual ponytail i'm so ghetto guys so you know i just use what i had at the moment I know one day things are gonna get better. Nevertheless, this was great practice and it came out cute considering and I hope you guys were able to get a lot from this video so you're able to do it yourself. And until next time, thank you guys again for tuning in. Bye. Excuse, but she's due to you do your dance. Roll a popping with your Vinci or Dior. Said the latest fashion line, got you fresh, not looking pop. Like the one to wear the jacket, I'm the boy from the north, man. I'm sweating.